Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Miranda and today I'm going to be dyeing my hair orange even though it's already orange <laughs> as you guys can see but I just wanted to preface this I did film the dyeing process um, I'm just going to kind of be talking about how I went from green to this orange that I have with me today but I just want to kind of explain what I did to prep the hair because I did not use bleach I went from this green to this orange with no bleach however I did do a lot of fading um, so whenever I would wash my hair I would use head and shoulders shampoo you can also use dish soap if you would like I feel like that's a lot more harsh on your hair than head and, than head and shoulders but I used a mix of washing with head and shoulders and a different clarifying shampoo and clarifying shampoo is like a more harsh shampoo that is designed for like a deep cleaning so it really helps to get color out of your hair um greens and blues are going to be like one of the hardest colors to fade um and get out because they do kind of stick for a little bit but i had the green for about three weeks and the last two times that i had washed my hair i would do a shampoo rinse and shampoo and rinse and I would shampoo maybe like five six times every time I showered because each time I would shampoo more I could tell that the soap was changing to green so that's how you can kind of tell that color is coming out and I would just shampoo and then rinse until the soap would stay white and that's kind of like the the limit for that day of like okay i gotta wait until a little bit of oils develop before washing next so that it'll help to get more color out so two days ago before i had dyed it i did shower and shampooed a lot and then a lot of it was like the ends were turning a lot more blonde while the underneath parts were still pretty vibrant green like they were still like not as green as when i first had dyed it but like the underneath parts definitely that don't get directly you know shampooed you know what i mean those pieces were a lot more intense and i figured that the orange was not going to cover those parts specifically so what i did so I'm gonna try and find some pictures of like the color like my hair looked like lettuce like iceberg lettuce I think that's what it's called is it iceberg where like the ends were a lot more light or kind of yellowy white while the base was a lot more green like that's kind of the color that my hair was was like lettuce so on the parts that were more green I made a concoction because if you know color theory or if you just look at a color wheel, the opposite of green is red. However, my hair was not green green. It was a light green. So I took pink, like a watermelon pink. I don't even have any a base like to even show, but I'll have a watermelon. And I made a color of like just a little bit of dye and a little bit of conditioner. I just made like a conditioning toner type deal to combat the green. So I made a watermelon looking kind of color and I put that on my head. One, because after shampooing, you do want to condition because that dries out your hair so much from just shampooing and shampooing. And especially shampooing the ends because you're not supposed to do that. They don't need to be shampooed, but I wanted the color to get out, so I did shampoo the ends. But it's good to condition because then that can help combat all the shampooing that you did. And I put this colored conditioner on top of all I really focused it on the underneath parts because they were green and it really combated their green which like I said if you know color theory red cancels out green green cancels out red so I took pink which canceled out the lighter green because it wasn't as intense 
So, you know, kind of purple cancels yellow, pinky purple cancel yellowy green. So I put that on my hair and I immediately rinsed it because I was afraid that the more yellow pieces were going to turn pink. I did not want them to turn pink. So part of the underneath actually turned orange and a lot of the green turned yellow. So it, it neutralized it basically. That was like the whole goal was to neutralize the green and make a nice base that orange would go over top of. Yellow's great. Yellow is in orange, so that's why I used it. So after that, I had a nice base that you can see in the dyeing part. And yeah, I mixed yellow. I think it was ion. No, it wasn't. It was something else. We, It was not my yellow that we used. Um, we mixed some of Cosmic Sunshine from Arctic Fox with the Good Dye Young by Haley Williams, her orange. Like, I don't know what the name of it is. I don't have it with me. But we mixed that with some yellow. And that orange, like the orange by itself, by Haley Williams, the Good Day Young, brilliant. I love the color. It looks like her, how her hair was. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but even some pieces didn't totally go orange orange, so it has a lot of like depth. My parents just are so loud. This is the color. I'm super happy with it. It's like a neon orange type of deal, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, but let's go ahead and jump into the dyeing part. So, editing me here, I just wanted to show the color in natural daylight. We did dye my hair outside, and this is the color of my hair after doing all the washing, all the fading, no bleaching. And after toning it, it did neutralize to a nice yellow and the orange went over top of this color so perfectly. But credits to Dan for doing my hair. background noise but my parents just got home the neighbor's dogs are barking my parents talk so loud but that's gonna be the end of this video if you have any other questions let me know but this is the final result I'm super happy with it next I'm gonna do red again that's the plan not now but soon ish but I love you guys so so much thank you for watching if you want to see me dye my hair more colors let me know um, I love watching these kind of videos I'm not sure if you guys like watching these kind of videos but if you want to see me do my hair every time I do it, let me know. But I love you guys so, so much, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!